Warm greetings. Today is Sunday, October 5, 2025. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia. At the time of recording this video, it's 8 p.m. local time in the Lesser Antilles, where we're closely monitoring the evolution of Invest 95, which maintains a high probability of tropical development as it approaches the island chain. For now, as we see in the infrared satellite imagery, the tropical wave continues a slow process of cyclonic organization, but it's possible that by Wednesday we'll already have a tropical depression. However, tonight we have better agreement among the global models, suggesting that, with a bit of luck, future Hurricane Jerry would pass just northeast of the Caribbean. Still, the models show it could pass less than 200 miles north of the Lesser Antilles. For this reason, it's important that the Lesser Antilles and Puerto Rico continue to monitor its progress. In the latest 8 p.m. tropical outlook from the National Hurricane Center, Development probabilities remain at 70% over the next seven days, and the possible area of formation includes the northern half of the Lesser Antilles and the region toward the northeastern Caribbean. Now that the tropical wave has been designated as Invest 95, we already have some runs from specialized models. For example, the track guidance models show good agreement that it will maintain a west-northwest motion at least through Thursday morning, and between Thursday and Friday it should begin turning northwestward or north-northwestward. If that turn occurs in time, it would prevent the circulation center from moving directly over the northern Lesser Antilles and Puerto Rico. Although that seems to be the most likely scenario tonight, notice that some models still show a slightly farther west track, which is why we in the northeastern Caribbean remain alert to this disturbance. On the other hand, the intensity guidance models show significant disagreement regarding how strong it could become as it nears the islands. For example, some show a Category 1 or 2 hurricane, while others have a much stronger system, Category 3 or even 4. This detail is important because a weaker system would likely track farther west, posing a greater threat to the Lesser Antilles and Puerto Rico, while a rapidly strengthening system would more likely curve away from the region. For now, there's no reason for concern, we're simply observing. One positive sign is that most of the American models ensemble members now show a track passing northeast of the Caribbean, between about 100 and 400 miles from the Lesser Antilles, though three members show a slightly farther west path. This clearly illustrates the cone of uncertainty in the track forecast. While the highest probability is for the system to remain just northeast of the Caribbean, we cannot rule out a scenario where it comes closer to the Lesser Antilles and Puerto Rico. The European models members continue showing strong agreement on a track just northeast of the Caribbean as well, though there's still uncertainty regarding how close it might pass. Google's AI model also indicates a generally west-northwest track, passing very near the northeastern Caribbean and some of its farther west members suggest the possibility of it moving over the northern Lesser Antilles. Let's now look at the latest runs from the global models. Starting with the American model, this afternoon's run shows a track about 150 miles east-northeast of the Lesser Antilles as a Category 2 hurricane. In this image, you can see how the model projects the infrared satellite appearance when it reaches its closest point to the Caribbean, clearly showing a hurricane structure with the potential to become a major hurricane as it approaches the area. This potential risk is precisely why we must stay alert in case of any changes, though we hope the model trends remain steady. Meanwhile, the European model also keeps the track just northeast of the Caribbean, passing about 75 to 100 miles northeast of the Lesser Antilles, though unlike the others, it depicts the system as a weak tropical storm. The German model likewise keeps a track just northeast of the Caribbean but is among the closest to the northern Lesser Antilles. In its latest run, it shows a Category 3 hurricane passing very near the northeastern Caribbean. The farthest west scenario among the global models comes from the United Kingdom model, whose latest run shows a tropical storm crossing over the northern half of the Lesser Antilles and Puerto Rico. That scenario currently appears least likely, but it definitely cannot be ruled out. Depending on how close it passes to the northeastern Caribbean, there's broad agreement that its closest approach will occur between Thursday and Friday this week, and if it passes close enough, some significant rainfall could occur. For example, the European model, based on its track just northeast of the Lesser Antilles, projects 4 to 8 inches of rainfall between Thursday and Friday. Of course, these rainfall maxima will depend on the system's final track. Although the outlook currently seems favorable for the Caribbean, I kindly ask that you continue to monitor its progress, especially since some of the intensity models are quite aggressive, showing a significant hurricane as it nears the area. For instance, one specialized intensity model indicates a Category 3 hurricane in about four days as it passes near the Lesser Antilles. The HWRF model's latest run even shows a Category 3 or 4 hurricane as early as Wednesday afternoon. I'll continue closely monitoring the evolution of Invest 95, which will likely strengthen into Tropical Storm and later Hurricane Jerry, and hopefully the model consensus will hold so that it ultimately passes just northeast of the Caribbean without significant impacts on the Lesser Antilles or Puerto Rico. 
That's all for this forecast update. Tomorrow morning I'll record another video to discuss the overnight model runs. Before I go, please remember to like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and click the bell icon so you receive notifications whenever I post a new update. I hope everyone has a great night. See you tomorrow.